Hey everyone, Joe Tillman here, hairtransplantmentor.com. Uh, I am with Maria Fowler from the United Kingdom. Uh, Maria is a, um, a personality in the United Kingdom. Uh, she's been on reality TV shows. Uh, she's really big in social media, um, huge following on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And um, we're going to be talking to her about her hair transplant. Maria, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Um, so a, a lot of people outside the UK may not be familiar with um, with the show that you're on and uh, things that you're involved with. Could you give us just a, a, a quick background on, um, on your experience and uh, what you do? So there's um, a TV show in the UK called The Only Way is Essex. I mean, it's still going now. Um, I was on it six years ago when it just launched, so mm -hmm. it was pretty um, crazy back then. And... Yeah, ever since I left the show, I've kind of been in the media and doing different things. Um, right. Got a couple of businesses now, so yeah, it's it's um it's all been good. Yeah, I I've, I've I've always seen you like I'm always on the the UK. Um, I don't I don't know if you call them um, news news sites or whatever, but uh, the, the various online I'll call them journals. And uh, yeah. I've, I've seen you pop up, and I've I've always wondered who you were. I, I didn't know. Um, but, and I, they were yeah. friends. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, um, so let's just jump into this. You you've had not just one hair transplant, but two hair transplants, um, and that's kind of how we got connected. And I'm going to let you take over and tell a story about how we started talking. So I had um, a disaster hair transplant in September, and um, September of 2017. Yeah, yeah, yeah. September was gone, so it's been just over nine months now. Mm -hmm. And I kind of, once I kind of became like a little bit out of denial that this was not going to get any better, I started doing some research. Mm -hmm. I can trust you. And you so me, yeah. I found you, and I reached out to you and asked you to help me. So yeah. And and how and how did you find me exactly? Like like what what led you to to contacting me? I saw um, your YouTube channel, the video. I think it's Celebrity Hair Transplant Disasters. Was yeah. it called? Or, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You actually sent it a few people. So yeah. yeah, that's the one I found. And you were you were calling out for one of the other reality stars to reach out to you. And I thought, listen, I'm going to reach out to you. <laughs> I'm not in your video because you've not seen my disaster yet, but I'm going to reach out. Yeah. So, yeah. So what, what was it about the, about the video? And, and I'm only asking because I, I think it's important for people to understand uh, the content of, of the video. And um, of course the, um, the link for the video that I'm talking about that we're talking about will be down in the script in the description below. Um, but just summarize real quick about what was it about the video that, um, that prompted you to, to reach out to me? I think, um, it was your knowledge in the field and your kind of no holds barred like approach to this is not acceptable. This is 2018. That yeah. is a bad hair transplant. And it was nice to see somebody online that was actually saying it how it is that I know isn't going to look there and look at my hair and sugarcoat it and tell me it's okay. And right. I knew that you knew. And there seems to be a lot of people that are trying to sell products and trying to like, trying to be so positive about it where you were showing kind of like the dark side of sort of the hair transplant industry and what can go wrong. So for me, I thought, right, this is a person that I need to speak to because you're not there to, tell people that they look okay when they don't right so, yeah. well yeah and and the the point of that was um the the industry as i've seen it over the past uh several years i've been in the industry since um officially since early 2003 um i've seen the overall quality of work kind of decline um because of the introduction of fue um, which i go to in this video um but the refinement for the most important part of any hair transplant, which is the hairline seems to have diminished. Um, and in many cases has disappeared. And that's why, that's why I felt it was necessary to, to put out that video as an educational tool. Um, it's gotten a lot of views and it, you know, it's been fairly controversial as well, but, um, I'm very glad that that was something that grabbed onto you. Um, because obviously it led us to, 
connecting and, and meeting, um, yeah. meeting each other um, virtually, I guess. And um, it's been a pleasure interacting with you. But um, what was it about your procedure that you had had previously that you questioned? Or, or what was it that, about your procedure that led you to reach out to me? I felt with my procedure, <laughs> where do we start? Um, everything was wrong with it. The only thing that was okay with it was the density. Um, everything else was wrong with it. And mm -hmm. I think they were just so focused on getting it full and thick and they actually forgot, it was almost like they forgot to finish it. So yeah. it was, um, I mean, as you explained in the video about other transplants that you've seen, I had multiple hair grafts in my hairline. My hairline was too straight. There was mm -hmm. no angle to the grafts it would put in. It literally was like, do you, do you ever do those things at school out there where you have a potato and you put grass in it and it just grows like yeah. a head? Mm -hmm. It was like, it was just like, we do this at primary school here. I just looked like a potato with like grass just coming out of me. Like wow. it was awful. Yeah. So there was no, I felt there was no skill to the procedure whatsoever. And for me, I went for, I, I, I wasn't suffering from hair loss. Um, I just didn't like my hairline. So for me, I just felt like I'd gone from having a, bad hairline that was natural to a bad hairline that was false. So yeah. I not only, I, I just made my problem worse because I thought, well, at least it looked natural before. Right. So for me, like there was no option but to get this fixed. But the way that the grafts had been placed was like a grid. Mm -hmm. So if I stood under a light or in the daylight, you could see through it and you could see rows of, of the graph, you know, the graph placement was right. too, like routine. There was no irregularity to it. It, it looked, uh, it looked too, too much like a pattern. Yeah, it was. Okay. It was like a, it was like a maths book, you know, like a, just like a, like a grid. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was a problem. The hairline was a straight line here, mm -hmm. but everything that could be wrong with a hair transplant was wrong with my hair. Um, it was a straight line here. I had no temple points. I had a big um, kind of contrast between my natural hair and the transplanted hair, right. which was a hairline made of multiple hair grafts. There was no, there was no singular grafts in there. There was no kind of irregularity on the hairline. Listen to you using the terminology and stuff. You've learned a lot. <laughs> Some videos, haven't I? I've only learned from there. <laughs> Um, there were everything, like everything was wrong with it. Um, what else was wrong with it? Oh, it wasn't the, the grafts weren't placed sort of, you know, like flush against my head. It was just growing like, it was growing like a doll. Right. Um, what else was wrong with it? Well, I mean, we can, we can look at the photo. Um, this is, this is a photo taken, um, just a few days ago of the hairline. Um, close up and, uh, like and we're, we're going to pull it up now. And, and while you're looking at it, I'm going to actually be playing some video. Um, I, I couldn't get that through to you because uh, it's, a, it's a large file, but I'm going to be playing some video uh, showing all aspects of the hairline. But I'm going to pull up this image now and you can look at the photo. And this is the first time you're seeing it since, since you actually had this photo taken. Tell me what you think of it. Yeah, basically that. That's what I lived with for nine. Well, it's, I didn't get any loss from it because I think the grafts were put in so kind of cement, so deep. And there's a lot of trauma, I think, um, with my swelling and things like that. I think it was pretty, um, pretty intense what they did. So, yeah, yeah I, I had to live with that. Um, and it wasn't a nice thing to live with. Yeah. I, know, I know there are people, I feel terrible sort of, like moaning about it because there are people that have a lot worse happen to them. But, but to, to choose to have that done and to walk away looking like that was just devastating. Mm -hmm. 